everybody, welcome back. I'm here with Rob's dad. He belongs to the Antique Tractor Club in Trumbull County. In Trumbull County and he has several, several tractors himself. But we're here to tour, we're doing a picnic here, but we're gonna tour around. He's gonna show us some of the older tractors, the antique tractors that he has. You ready? This here is Alice Chalmers Round Better. They used it back in the early 50s. They have this one of the first Ron Bell has had, a small robot size of a bushel basket. Oh, wow. Very big. That, yeah. did, did somebody like pull that with a tractor? Yeah. Okay. It's three all points, right. all power, uh, hydraulic driven. Or, Hydraulics? Uh, power takeoff driven. This one here is a, uh, what they call, clover hauler. It uh, <clears throat> takes your, your clover, drops the seeds off, puts the seeds in a bag, Blows the side of the chaff off the side. Okay. So you have all your all your bunchy clover. Wow. How old? Do you know what year this is? That's probably back in the eighteen hundreds. In I'm the eighteen hundreds. Sure. This thing here is back. You know, horse and buggy days. Oh, wow. They used to pick up loose hay and put it on the wagons. And they would take the wagon and hay and lay a load of hay into the barns. <clears throat> but they'd pull that with a team of horses or a small tractor. Yeah. And you hook on the back of a wagon and you go over there. That is really, that's an old John Deere. I see John Deere on the side mm -hmm. of that. Wow. That's the hay wagon ahead of it. And that's the way it would work in the field. You pulled with a team of horses. This here's a uh, sickle bar mower. Looks on the back of a tractor to cut, cut hay with hay and straw and whatever, grass. This is back in the 60s. This is a John Deere combine, self propelled. Wow. Now, do people just donate? Mm hmm. And you just bring them in, or you know, they just drop yeah, them off? No, uh, donate them. This is the operator sets up there and controls the whole thing. <clears throat> and harvest is all your seed, all your grains. Oh, there's Rob. He's joining us now. He had to go get something. What? Just what I found. What'd you find? A feather. Lucky for, you. For a scavenger hunt. They had a scavenger hunt set up for the kids. Hey, I came from the quake and you were looking at. They had a list of things to go find, and it was just fun to do with the little kids. It, it, it was fun. We didn't find the four-leaf clover, though. This is an old-fashioned trash machine. It's all made out of wood. It was made and come out of Canada. We had it donated to us here a couple of years ago. Still in a functional operating position. And we bring the grain into the field, feed it in here, run by power take off of a tractor, belts, load the trap up into a pile, separate the grain, put the grab bag, uh, grain into a bag. And look at the wheels. Yeah, they're, they're all metal. Steel wheels. wheels. That's probably back in the 1800s, I would imagine they used this. Wow. In the 1900s. Huh. Dion. Is that the name of it, Dion? It's the name on it, yeah. Dion, Dion. This is all kinds of antique tools, farm equipment we used, uh, hay fork over there, circle ice and suck us, no, scythe cutting and just... Oh, there's a corn knife from the 1800s. There's a sign on mm -hmm. that. Oh, look. Farrier's tool. Right here, blacksmith, snippers. Huh. A lot of stuff in here is already laid over some. This is a little rake. Oh, you found a rake? Or grapple, grapple. From 1890, eight, eight, yeah, 1891 that says. These here are down here, two or three of them. Are what they call hog oilers. Hog what? Oilers. Okay. They fill them through the motor, motor oil, and the hogs run against them and they put the oil on their body to protect them from the hot weather. And these up here, did, aren't these like on top of telephone it's poles? These are uh, insulators in used on years ago in the inside of the power lights. It's a hand drill. Functional hand drill. 
well as stuff. This saw's up here, cross cut saw. That's a two Somebody man. painted it, that's nice. It's a two man saw, yeah. Painted by Terry Taylor. Mm-hmm. Buck saw. Mm-hmm. From the 1800s, that's nice. It's so, all hay fork. Right there. there, yeah. Right oh, that. Okay. That's, a, that's an old fashioned hair, uh, hay rake or grass uh, rake. This here's a uh, cultivator pulled by horse. Cultivating gardens. They have one there that plows the garden. This is a cultivator. These are all, mostly all cultivators. Some they had some uh, horse on. You take the uh, engine. <laughs> Antique chainsaw. <clears throat> I see on the wall. What are those called? These are all it's going to call them size. And this one here is a actually a brush hook. That's got the smaller blade on it for cutting brush. The rest of this is cutting grain and hay. Each one of those curves, or each one's got different, some straight, some curved, depending on what how the design is where they come from, what part of the world they come from. Some come from Germany, come from uh, some from Sweden, some from Italy, depending on how they were shaped, where they, what country they come from. We've got a mowing machine here. It's a mowing machine for that, mm -hmm. gravely? Yep. I had one of those a long, long time ago. Something similar. That's old. That it's is old. Kind. Yeah. Yeah. What is this one? Same? That's a Bowens. Uh, it's got a roller on it. It's got a mower on it. It's got all kinds of different attachments. It's got a little plow on it. Back. That's 19... Uh, 19 in the 40s? Yeah, 18 to 50. <coughs> 50, uh, early 50s. And these are yeah. the That's a Bowens. Down here? Yep. This here is a potato sorter. Is in there, turn that, different sizes fall out. All the stuff, all of, all of it's antique. It's basically antique, could be back to early 20s. This here is a rim for a bobsled, horse draw bobsled. Oh. There's a paper top on it. So, that. yeah, so then on top of here would be some kind of carriage or something, and then mm -hmm. they would pull them in the snow. Old time out of miter saw. This is a toolbox here. Old fancy tool, carpet tool, mm -hmm. wooden toolbox. This is back <laughs> in the 1800s. Got wooden block planes. You're making molding. Different sizes. This is an antique day, a hundred over hundred year old duck trailer, duck wagon. <clears throat> they hauled gravel with that to go up the roads here in Bethlehem County. That was horse drawn. I probably used three horses to pull that way it set up. Probably with all the gravel too. Is it probably really heavy? Donate. Um... I got a pair of treasure on it. This here's the handbrake. Hand That's the control to change the, to unload the load. There's a uh, hand corn picker, corn planter. Those were up the corn for you guys earlier. Oh, to plant corn, okay. Yeah. Put the corn there, stamp the ground, and they open well, up and drop the seed. It's a lot easier than what we did. Yeah. <laughs> this here's a corn top one. They can put the corn in here. Turn that way on the blade and chop it up and make it fine feed it for cattle feed. Set of plows. Two bottom plows. They're probably back in there, uh, in the around the 60s or 70s. Two bottom plow for three point extraction. Motor driven uh, cultivator. Cultivator. <coughs> Cultivating gardens. This is a corn, corn husking machine. 
Really, this is from the 1920s. This is from the 1920s. Look at the belts. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of belts on there. I, you know, it's really nice of people to donate these because it just is. It's another machine shop. Toolbox? 1888. Oh, look at that. 1888. 1888. Mechanic type tools. Oh, look at that. This is, wow. Old gauges and. This is a John Deere courthouse to run by a tractor. Hmm. Three point inch tractor. The corn, yeah, I see it. Donated by Pat Sutler. Mm -hmm. He's headed to Memorial. He just died here in spring. Oh, did he? He just passed away? Look at this. That. This is baby, baby carriage. <laughs> That's an old one. That is so pretty. Yeah, I'm not even sure how old that one is. <clears throat> These up through here are all singer sewing machines. Oh, yeah, the old sewers. The foot paddle on the sewing machine. <laughs> and there's another shot. Here's the this big thing from here. Mm -hmm. the, Mm -hmm. Look at there. Oh, like a masher. That's uh I don't even know. Who's it donated by some Bill Thompson? Bill Thompson, yeah. That's a uh a wizard. It says wizard on it. It looks like an old Where's potato, potato, potato masher, yeah. And then up here, there's there's bricks mm -hmm. that people donated. Yeah, we bought these bricks and uh, put our names on them. Put my name here on it. <laughs> That's nice. This here is a drug beater or a kid beater, either way. A kid beater. <laughs> I used to hang a red over, over a, a clothesline and beat it with that. Mm -hmm. Take the dust out, dirt out. That's before you had back your fingers. Oh, there's a scale. There's I a see scale. an old scale. Look at this. This is a big. Oh wow! Look at that big, the big wheel. Oh, what is this in here? A sewing this machine. A sewing machine, all time. That's one of those. Third there, kitchen old. Yeah. The old ice cream scoop. <laughs> there's an ice cream scoop. Another, another masher. There's an old pot bottle too. I've never that, that's haven't seen one of those in a long time. RC I haven't seen a, just any old glass in a long time. That's, like I said, that's a centennial. We've got all the uh, presidents on it. Yeah, it is. I don't have to say presidents. Seventy-seven, seventy-six. Uh, I don't have a date on them. That's yeah, a real fraud and put a date on it. Are you stamped on the bottom? Wait a minute, yeah, 76 and 86. <clears throat> it's a centennial bottle. Yeah. Here's no data measure. <laughs> this is a uh, Chevy Chevrolet. They call it a flax wheel. A flax wheel? Yeah. Is this, what do they, what do, they like do? It's a spinning wheel. Uh, okay. Wrap around here, put it out. This is a clothes wringer. Mm hmm. Thank God for washing, washing machines now. Mm -hmm. This here's a, uh, a an antique work machine. <laughs> an antique work, yep, right there. Antique washing machine. That's, that's a washboard. Yeah, a washboard. <clears throat> yeah. Thank God for. Washing oh, <laughs>
This is a milk can that comes from Burgerstown, Pennsylvania. They used to sell it, sell it. <coughs> ship cream in this to the railroad stations and to the other stores and so forth. And we ship on a railroad. Oh, I think I see an old vacuum over there. There's the vacuum. There's your vacuum cleaners here. This here is a handmade broom from West Virginia. It's probably 100 years old. Now that's a nice stove. Yeah. That is really nice. There's something, uh, where's the hmm. I can't imagine having to get up and light the fire and the stove and all the things. Yeah. Not now. Here's the things you take to. To lift the burners up. Fire hmm. there. I can't imagine doing that now. Not, not at all. Been that for years. Old school, school desks. I remember sitting in one of those. Yes, I do too. There's <laughs> another pea chopper. Or corn chopper. You have a lot of, do you get a lot of people that come through here? Mm -hmm. And Yes. Because this is really interesting. The other side of this wagon here. To the panning wheel here. What is it? Panning wheel. It's good to put a corn chopper. Put the corn corn, oh. Drop it up. Corn chopper. This is a uh, green, uh, uh, green, uh, green separator. Separates the grain from the shaft. <clears throat> Put it in there, turn the wheel, and it does a fanning mill type thing. It's a, these are the grates that fuse in it. Mm, okay. There's a thing on the back of this. Is. The cleaning, the cleaner, mm -hmm. the cleaner company. This here is a, also a cedar, hand, hand, hand carried cedar. Put this here around your across your belly and put a strap around this, around your neck. Put seed in here. <clears throat> it's upside down. When you walk, this will control the depth of the seed. So this is a seat before okay, this yeah. is where they oops it's there. Broadcast, broadcast yeah, it's a broadcast water. cedar that you wear around your yeah. waist. That's old. I did, yeah, that's old. I mean, that'd be heavy with when I get a full seed. Yeah. I imagine it would be. This another great painter. New modern, modern great <laughs> A modern one <laughs> compared to the other. Yeah. This thing here is a uh, ditcher. All right, what do you do with a ditcher? They cut ditches with it. Clean ditches. Oh, you may, okay. Horse drawing. Clean ditches. Got the information here on it. Eight, 1920. 19, 20. 1920. This up here is a flip-flop rake or a horse drawing rake. Horse, okay, rake. They draw the horse down, they put the feet, uh, fingers on the ground, they do what they want to, flip a lever, it flips over, leaves the hay, <coughs> picks up the next, you know, next row. That's a neat, they are here in Miami. Made in 1880 to 1890. Lots of things. And only two of these we know around the country. Really? This one or one of the There may be more around, but it's only two we know of. Well, if you, anybody knows about one of these, let, let, it, let me know in the comments. I'll let him know. Well, thank you so much for the tour. I appreciate it. I'll send you the bill. <laughs> All right, thanks. every rake. The next one is a dump rake. The next thing is a pickled mower. When I was nine years old, my uncle put me on one of them with a pair of mules about 10 acres of hay. How'd you do? By myself. <laughs> no problem. There's the building over there and you rent that out, don't you? Yeah. So if anybody's in the area and want they want to get a hold of the Trumbull County 
Antique Tractor Association. Yeah, look at the sign out front and give you all the information I need. Okay. Got the address, got the phone number, the whole nine yards. All right, you know what? I'll link that. I'll put the in a I'll, in a pinned comment. I'll um, add your add the phone number for all of this if you want to rent this building out for any activity you have, weddings, whatever.